All right, we're going to look at the difference between synthetics and active cotton. The first one is one everybody's familiar with. That's a Nike Dry Fit. Here's what happens when your sweat goes onto Nike Dry Fit. You see how the moisture disappears and wicks into the fabric. Okay, everybody got that? The fabric is wet on that side and wet on this side. Next, we've got Under Armour. Same thing, synthetic. You see when the sweat goes on, how fast that fabric, the moisture moves into the fabric, wet on the outside, wet against your skin. This blue is active cotton jersey. When the sweat goes on this fabric, you can see instantly how the fabric goes through, the, how the water sweat goes through the fabric. However, this now is less wet on the inside. Most of the moisture is transferred to the back of the garment or the outside of the garment where it's wet. So you can see the drastic difference between the outside of the garment and the inside of the garment, which is dry. And this is what moisture movement is all about. The last example is another form of active cotton in a French terry. Again, you can see how the water or sweat gets pushed from the inside of the garment to the outside of the garment. So the garment appears to be wet on the outside, but in fact, it's dry on the inside. The biggest difference for me is that it's not sticking to my skin. So the act of cotton is actually absorbing the sweat. And then it's, you still feel free and loose. You can go longer because you're not as hot as you normally would be. It's not slick on the outside where you are sweating. It's kind of like dry still somehow. It's my new, uh, it's my new gear for uh, the workout. I feel much cooler. It kind of cools down really quickly. Yeah. 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 I didn't get to like a point where I was like really hot where I usually would. Yeah. AC skins will be in my wardrobe from now on. <laughs>